how long you and your boo been together? Girl. It's your girl Kenzie and I'm back with another video. Ay, ay, ay. I know y'all geek like I'm geek. So we're, you know, as you see on the title, y'all already know what we about to do today. We're about to do a little Chick-fil-A mukbang juicy QA video. If you are new here, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kenzie K N3 S S Y N underscore. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Boo. I fucks with y'all, okay? So um on my instagram basically what i did was i had asked everybody to basically ask me questions about my life and you know i did a last q a i did a q a a while ago but this is basically an updated q a so yeah today we're just gonna be doing an updated q a on my life like you and my business i'm do that okay so today we got some chick-fil-a i got me some tender some fries and y'all i got me some mac and cheese you know and i'm starving so basically what i did was i had everybody ask me questions on this anonymous app i don't know who sending i don't know who asking the questions i don't know none of that so this is gonna be juicy and i know it's some stuff that y'all want to know about me of course i'm not a very what is the word i'm not a very open person i'm open but I don't put my personal business, my personal life on the internet. I'm more so of a business woman, you know? And I feel like what I what I do in my personal life and my relationship status and all of that stuff is personal to me. But I thought I'm I'ma be more be more open with y'all and ooh, I just nourished my soul. And I got some lemonade. I'm gonna be more open with y'all this year. And let y'all in on my life a little bit. So, I'm going to just be reading off the questions off of my phone. And we're just going to go from there. And the sauce I get is a sweetie, sweet and spicy sriracha sauce, y'all. It's so good. If y'all haven't had this at Chick-fil-A, y'all need to try it. It's so freaking good. And, of course, the Chick-fil-A sauce. I did my fries in this. I tried that Cobb salad, y'all. And I ain't like it. Like, everybody be saying, like, it's so good. You got to try it. But... When I tried it, I honestly did not like it, y'all. Comment below if y'all like that cob salad, cause I did not like it. It wasn't all that. It wasn't how everybody be trying to hype it up to me. So I'm gonna take a bite real quick. Now we can jump straight as well. Somebody asked me, "What's my favorite food?" Favorite food is nachos for sure. Like. That's the top priority on my list. And then, I would say, I like rice and stuff like that. Like, seafood for sure, but you can't eat too much seafood without feeling sick, so. I would say my top favorite food is nachos and spaghetti and fried chicken. Somebody said, what's the process to get your own branded lash trays? Well, I basically, I'm not gonna lie, I, I had to do a lot of research. Like I researched a lot before I found like the right vendor, the perfect vendor for me. I've been using my vendor for about three years now. So basically, you really just have to research. Like they have all a lot of vendors on AliExpress, like Alibaba, stuff like that. Um, I just did a lot of research. You can even look on YouTube, you can Google stuff, but you have to sample a lot of, a lot of sample a lot of places before you just jump into one. Hey beautiful, I want to know, are you lesbian or bisexual? Also, if you are bisexual, is it a lot different being with a woman than a man? So, yes it is a lot, it, yes it is a lot different than being with a woman and a man. Now, I have, you know, talked to guys, but I've never been in a relationship with one. So as far as being in a relationship, I can't speak on that part, but I know that, you know, women are more affectionate 
no. And I'm not encouraging nobody to like girls or be gay or anything like that. Cause this wasn't even my choice, you know? It just happened this way. I don't want nobody that's watching this to think that it's okay to like girls or anything like that or like the same sex or anything like that because I'm not gonna say it's not, but you know. So I would say that it is a difference though with being with the guy and being with the with the woman because a woman is the same thing as you. You have the same body parts. Y'all both have periods and y'all both, you know, it's it's kind of like dating yourself or dating, you know, a girl, the same sex as you. With a man, he's buff, he's manly, he's very dominant, you know. They, there are some women who are very dominant too, but nine times out of ten, they're dominant to the outside world, but behind closed doors, they are not. So I want to know your perspective because my experience was not that great. She was a psycho. Yeah, I mean, I honestly feel like women, they, they understand you more, you know? Guys, you will be fucking crying in their face and they'll be like, girl, what is you crying for? Like, it ain't even that serious, you know? A, a woman will be like, you know, I understand. They will understand. Even if they fuck up, they they gonna apologize for it. They gonna tell you, you know, that, that, it's, just a, it's just a big difference. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not have a boyfriend. What's the perfect date night for you? The perfect date night for me is I like to eat for sure. I like to eat. Take me somewhere to eat, and we can go to the crib after that. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like going out no more. I I barely like being in public anymore. So to be honest with you, take me to get some food, and we are good. Have you ever, ever have you ever had any real clients? Yes, I have all the time, girl, all the time. I have to scroll all the way down because it's a lot of questions. So if I feel like I'm like jumping everywhere, just bear with me. Your opinion on jealousy in relationships? My opinion on my opinion on jealousy in relationships. Um, I would say if you're with somebody. And you feel like they are jealous of you or you feel like you have to be in competition or anything you don't need to be with them because it's not gonna work if you're with somebody and you feel like they are envious or anything for one they're not going to be supportive at all because they're clearly envious of you for two how is that gonna work like y'all have to be together y'all have to be supporting each other one person can be jealous of the other because it's just not gonna work out period point blank shy or open which one are you i'm very oh i'm a very open person i'm not shy at all actually i'm a very outgoing person if you know me you know i'm very outgoing i can be open and i can be closed if that makes sense like this video is big for me because a lot of these questions is people being nosy, but I'm gonna answer them because that's what I that's what I'm doing this for, you know. How can you build clients as a new lash artist? Be consistent, post, be consistent. Doing sales and all that stuff don't get you nowhere. Like doing sales, doing a you can do sales but don't do so many like if people gonna take you as like you know like don't do so many sales you can do sales but that's not gonna get your clientele hi have you ever experienced an insupportive friend how did you treat the relationship moving forward do you address it or ignore it and do you still do the lashes even if they don't support like sharing your post and help getting the word out um no i haven't really i don't really have friends so i don't really have this problem but if I was to have this problem where people, where I have friends who don't support me, I just simply will cut them off. Like, I'm the type of person who will cut you off. I don't care what it is, what is, I'm going to cut you off. Like, so I don't really have these type of problems. But, if it's a friend, and sorry y'all, because this is a mukbang and I have to talk at the same time, so I'm going to be smacking a little bit. But, if it's a friend... When you genuinely feel like that's your real friend and 
you don't want problems between y'all i would say don't ignore it you need to address it and when you address it if it don't work out then then you move around you know or you move her around every friend that you have in your corner should be, you you should be benefiting from them should nobody be around you who don't support you period and vice versa do you plan on moving to another state Yes, I do. Very soon, actually. Have you ever dated a guy? No, I have not dated. I've never been in a relationship with a guy. I've talked to a guy before, but I've never been in a relationship with a guy, ever. Now, if you want to count like elementary school, K4, K5, first grade, then. Yeah, but never been in a relationship with a guy. Can you do a lash class in Chicago? Yes, I can. I'm actually doing one really soon there. I'm working on that. So, bear with me. Oh, my God. Being fat. You already see that. But, yes, I'm working on that. What's your way of saving more and spending less? My way of saving more and spending less. Um, I cook a lot. Go to the grocery store. Go grocery shopping and cook. Cool. Uh, don't spend your money on the unnecessary stuff. Like, if it's something that you really, really honestly need and you know, like, okay, I need this, like, personal items and stuff, spend your money on. But if you just steady going out to eat every day, spending your money on stuff like that every day, that's unnecessary. Like, save your money, spend wisely, don't go shop. You, if you don't need to go shopping, why go shopping? Like, I don't shop a lot because I don't do nothing but come to work every day. You know? And I wear stuff like this every day. Well, no. I kind of got dressed today, but usually I wear, like, joggers, hoodies. My hair don't be done. Stuff like that. So, make your money. Save it. Put it up. And limit yourself. Give yourself, okay, every time I get paid, I'm going to take $200 out. And that's all you're going to have for the next time you get paid. You know, you have to disable yourself which is a good and a bad thing but you that's what you have to do if you want to save do you plan on expanding your brand maybe sell clothes or something yes i'm actually working on expanding my brand right now so stay tuned what's your favorite thing to do when you're not working sleeping sleeping that's all i want to do is sleep what's your favorite place to shop and why my favorite place to shop would be i love to shop on sheen y'all they have a pretty little thing too. But she ain't got that shit for cheap, okay? Like, if you go on somewhere and you look for some real quick shit to put together, shop on Sheen. Like, they have the same thing that Fashion Nova got, Pretty Little Thing got, all them places. They got the same shit for half the price, so. I love Sheen. If you know, then you know. How did you know <laughs> you were into girls? I don't know. It wasn't like a thing where I felt like I was born that way or anything. And, you know, most people's dramatic stuff happens in their life where they turn that way. With me, I kind of feel like it was just a natural thing. Like, I wasn't forced to be this way. I wasn't nothing happened to me the reason why i like girls you know i just like girls you know what glue do you use i use my own glue how long did it take you to complete a full set as a beginner girl like five hours not even gonna cap to you have you ever had someone complain about a bad bad reaction slash irritation from the lash glue yes one time literally like probably like once or twice when i first started the most amount of money you made in one day from lashing Would you consider doing eyebrows or other beauty beauty services? Yes, actually not eyebrows. Eyebrows seem like very hard to do and that is a very important <laughs> place on your body, spot on your body or whatever. And I don't wanna be playing people's face. Even though I know if I start doing lashes, it will be, I mean eyebrows, it'll be successful, but I just don't think that I'll do eyebrows. I don't know. Are you a lesbian? 
<laughs> if you want to say that, I don't label myself. I don't say, oh, I'm a femme or I'm a lesbian or anything like that. I, if that's what you want to call me, then that's, I guess that's what it is. But I don't just flat out say I'm a lesbian, you know? Are you into girls? Yes, I am. Wait, you have a girlfriend? Is that your significant other in that picture? <laughs> yes, it is. So, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that um, Valentine's Day just passed. And I posted my girlfriend. Um, Y'all all want to know if that was her. I guess that was her. <laughs> Do you prefer boys or girls? Gross for sure. So who is the bae? Y'all cute together. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen her. And thank you. Are you bisexual? Like I said, once again, I don't label myself. So I've never been with a guy and I don't see myself ever being in a relationship with a guy. I mean, not right now. No, I don't. But, like I said, I prefer girls. So, I'm going to say I'm bisexual because I really don't like men. But, I guess that's what you want to call it. <laughs> How do you keep your image up? Always look and fly. Also, which shade, makeup, and brand makeup do you use? Um, so right now, yo, I'm using it. It's called It Cosmetics from Sephora. And I, I don't really like it. Like, it makes me look so white. Or I think I'm using, a, like, the wrong shade concealer because it's wintertime now and I'm, like, pale now. You know, people say you have to use different types of shades in the winter and the summer. So... I think that's why I don't like it. But how I keep my image up? I basically just make sure I keep my nails and my hair and stuff done when need be because you will catch me looking a mess. So I don't always look like this. I don't I'm not always cute. Like every girl have their day where you looking a mess. And for me, that's 98% of the time, so. How do you get so spoiled? Um, well, I spoil others. Like, if you're, I'm gonna give you the same energy you give me. So if you come to the table with shit, you ain't getting shit. And nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna fuck with you, and I'm just gonna keep it honest. I'm just gonna keep it real, like. I can't fuck with nobody that's broke. I can't fuck with nobody who, who, who can't, give what I give, you know? It gotta be 50-50, so. I'm spoiled because I spoil others. How did you come out or did you even have to? Um, Coming out to the world, I never pub publicly said, oh, hey, you guys, I'm gay, right? Like, girl, you know, it's just, if you know, you know, type stuff. Like, so this video, me doing this video is something big because I don't talk about, I don't, I feel like, that's my personal business, you know. I, I feel like the internet is to make money, not for people to be in your in your business, in your in your personal life. So this is a choice that I'm doing. This is this I'm choosing to let you guys in on my personal life. Um and I really feel like whoever that's asking this question, if you if you do want to come out or if you are afraid of what people are gonna think of you, don't be. Like at this day and age. It ain't nobody better than the other. Like nothing is better. No stand is better than the, is than the other. So if you feel like your family not gonna accept you, or if you feel like you're you're not gonna be accepted by the world, don't give a fuck what nobody think. Like, girl, I did that for for so long, and I'm 20, finna be 24 now, and I don't give a fuck what nobody think. Like, this is me. This is my life. I gotta live it, not you. So, hey. How did your mom react? Um, she wants to be my ass. <laughs> she wanted to kill me. 
But I was young when she found out. I was probably about 14 years old and you know, it was 10 years later, so we gotta deal with it. Who is your man? Cause he definitely snapped boo. I feel like whoever it is that's the access was trying to be funny cause you know I don't, you know I don't have a man, but thank you. Do you plan on having your mom some grandkids? <laughs> yeah, I do actually want kids. I want to have my own and I also want to adopt a kid. How long you and your boo been together? Girl, so what everybody don't know is that we met about four or five years ago on Instagram, but we never seen each other. And, um, like it really didn't go nowhere we never seen each other we never kicked it or anything like that like it literally sorry i got the i got the headphone in but we literally never kicked it we never seen each other or anything like that like it was literally literally just like some childish instagram shit. i was probably i was young as fuck and we just conversated a little bit and that's all that's it that's all and then we lost contact well i blocked her ass she her ass been blocked for like four years now um because of some other shit. That's a whole different. <laughs> that's a whole different story. But yeah, little do everybody know. I met her. Well, I didn't meet her, but I knew her from I'll say like five years ago. This year probably make it like five years ago, four or five years ago. And we just got to come. I unblocked her ass in last year and. We just start talking again. Like it, it was random. It was crazy how it happened, but it happened, and we are here now. So, would you work? Would you wrap up a free lash class for your subscribers? Actually, yes. I'm working on something like that because I'm almost at my goal in order to start getting paid for Instagram. So, I'm gonna do something really, really, really good for y'all. I'm thinking of it now. If y'all got any suggestions, comment down below. How do you get people to pr let you practice on them so you can start getting clients and having business? Because, I, because I'm finding it hard. I've only been able to do two people, but they were my cousins. Just make a post and just tell people, like, you know, I'm new. I'm just starting off, you know. And they'll let you practice. All, make posts every day, like, I need a model who wants free lashes. And I'm pretty sure people will hit you up. What is your favorite trip? My favorite trip will probably be my birthday. My la my birthday last year, I went to Atlanta with my friends and my cousin, my friend and my cousins. And then this year, I took my little sister to Miami. That's that was those two are like the top two favorite trips so far. How long you been in a relationship with your girlfriend? We made it official last September. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve would be people asking me questions, y'all. Like, I hope people ask me a million and one questions. That irks my soul, y'all. That really irritates me so bad. Like, it could be the most simplest questions. I don't know, I just hate people ask. I think it's the cancer thing, y'all. Like, I really hate that. Hi, Kenzie, what do you use in between clients to clean or wipe off your tweezers? So I use Barbicide. If I don't have Barbicide, people always say, I, begin, I got a lot of these questions saying, that it's hard to clean the tweezers off a of barber side in between clients when it's really not. It takes like two seconds to do. Like in barber side, you can find it at the beauty supply store if, it's, if you don't have any. Like people, I have like five different questions people asking. Like people saying like barber side takes so long to, or I can't. I don't have time in between in between my clients. If you don't have time in between your clients to disinfect and to sanitize your stuff. You need to be giving yourself a block off time where it takes you two hours to do a lash set and you give yourself 15 minutes, a 15 minute grace period in between each client to get yourself together. You need to make time to clean off your tweezers. It should not be, I don't have time. It should not be, what do you do in between your clients to clean off your tweezers? Like, how do you have enough time? Like, it literally takes two seconds to grab some, some barbicide, dip it in there or put it on a paper towel and wipe it off. Like... It takes no time to do that, literally two seconds. So that's not an excuse at all. What lash diameter do you use for your volume sets? I use 0.7. What do you look for in friendships? Um, honestly, in friendships, I honestly, I look, I, I don't really look for friends. I don't really have a lot of friends. I don't have any friends. I have one friend that I talk to almost every day, but um, in order to be my friend, you have to, 
be on not i'm not even gonna say you have to be on the same level as me but i have to be able to benefit from you in any some type of way like you have to be able to teach me something or i have to be able to learn something from you you know i'm at the age where i don't want to be friends with people who i can't learn from or who i can't benefit from and, and benefit when i say benefit i'm not saying it as in a financial way i'm saying it as in like um as in like okay you know if i do something wrong i need you to be able to tell me what's right and what's wrong that what I, that i'm doing and how i could change it or you know stuff like that i should be able to call you and talk to you about stuff whether it's to get the tea or whether it's business stuff or whether it's i need help or whether it's if i'm calling you crying and you you know you could cheer me up stuff like that like and that's just vice versa like it should be 50 50 like you i gotta be able to trust you i gotta be able to tell you shit and then i gotta be able to trust that you won't go back telling your other friends my business i gotta be able to and it's same with me even though i don't have friends so your secret is safe with me but i gotta be able to trust you and i gotta be able to know that the loyalty is here you know and you know i know sometimes i could be very standoffish to where or i, I want my space like I can have my clingy times, I can have my, and I have my times where I just, you know, you won't hear from me for a couple of days, but that don't mean we're not friends, and I want to be, and I want friends who are able to understand that, you know, like, we're not in high school anymore, you know, so, that's my type of friend, um, and my, and I love to be able to go and do play go do random shit like bitch let's go here let's do this like or let's do this like let's go here and then you be like yes bitch come on let's go let's put this fight like that's the type of friends i want i want friends that can just be able to get up and go and that's down to do whatever because i'm very adventurous and i'm a very fun person so and sometimes i just be bored and be like bitch i want to do here i want to go here let's go so you know that's the type of shit that I like. What do you look for in a relationship? Oh, what I look for in a relationship, I honestly, I'm a cancer, so of course, like, I'm damn near always in a relationship, which is a good and a bad thing, but kind of a bad thing because cancers don't know how to be alone. But as far as looking for, you know, what I look for in a relationship, I look for loyalty, of course. Um, I look for, I, I have to be able to trust you because without trust, there's nothing. Like, if you don't trust somebody, you don't need to be with them because it's just not good. It's not healthy. Um, it causes a lot of problems, all that type of stuff. So, I have to be able to trust you. I have to be able to feel secure with you. I have to be able to trust that you're not going to go and mess with somebody on me or... You have to be, you know, and you have, and that's, and that's vice versa too. Like you have to be able to, to to feel secure with me, and you have to, you know, you should never be with somebody who you don't feel secure with, who you don't feel like, okay, when I leave him with this person, I'm, I don't, I'm gonna feel secure. I don't, I'm not gonna be thinking in the back of my head like they're gonna, they're doing something or they're talking to somebody, you know. So, honesty. Don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. One thing about me, I know everything. I find out everything. So, I have to be able to be affectionate with you because, of course, I'm a cancer. So, I am very clingy. Like, I like to be around you. I, I like to touch you. I like to be up under you, all that stuff. But I also like my space, too, if that makes sense. So, basically, just a, a uh, I look for understanding, basically. Understanding, trust it. Trustworthy, loyalty, honesty, all that. Because, like I said, once again, I know everything. I think it's a cancer thing. Like, I'm always saying that. I think it's a cancer thing. I know everything. So, if I ask you something, that means that, you know, I know. So, don't lie. <laughs> so, yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have my mom has six kids and my dad got like eight or nine so <laughs> a lot how old are you i am 23 years old my birthday is july 12th i'm a cancer and i will be 24 july 12th what year did you graduate high school i graduated high school in 2015 how long have you been doing lashes i've been doing lashes for four years in may you like dyke studs or film girls <laughs> okay y'all so i got this question a lot and um honestly i don't really 
have well I'm, I'm not I'm gonna lie I have only dated studs y'all I have only dated studs my current girlfriend is a stud I would say but she doesn't label herself like people say we look like sisters so I don't know but she don't dress like me but she wear her little weave and she wear her little eyelashes but she dressed like a stud but she cute though so I don't know what to call I don't know what to call it but I have only dated studs. I have never been with a fam. I have never been with a fam. I never talked to a fam. I talked to a fam before, but I never dated, like, been in a relationship with a fam before. So I will probably say, and then I never knew that dykes and studs were two different things. Because I'm not really into the label thing, y'all. I, I, I don't really know, like, the difference between all that stuff. I'm not... I'm not a rainbow, you know? I'm not a... I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, a really smooth gay girl Ooh, wow. not gay girl but whatever I, whatever y'all want to call me I don't know but I'm not really into the label so I don't know what really what a dyke in the stud I don't know the difference between that so whatever are you single no I am not in class do you teach different techniques and methods and how much is viable class do you provide take home materials yes all of my lash classes you take home everything you get a kit you get a mannequin you get everything you get a manual you get everything certificate all that stuff you need to take it home and yes i do teach different um techniques and methods and all how much is volume uh you can click the link in my bio on my instagram and see the uh, different prices how did you find out you were gay and how did you meet your girlfriend i met my girlfriend on instagram and also, how did your mom and everyone take the news? OMG, the tea, but y'all cute as fuck. I'm in the game. This is not nothing new. This is nothing that, um, you know, this is nothing that is new. My whole family know this. Everybody around me, if you know, then you know. Y'all just didn't know. Well, y'all, I don't know. Well, if you just not follow me, then you just now finding out. And people think that, people think that I'm just now coming out when i've been this way <laughs> forever like forever and ever and ever since forever so you know since middle school or some shit. but this is not i'm this is not me me posting my girlfriend all that stuff that was not me coming out that was not me coming out the closet like i've been this way i've been in multiple relationships with the girls before her so yeah will you sell the wigs you don't wear anymore actually I like to rewear my wigs, not even gonna lie. Like, if you if you get hair from good vendors, or if I'm a brand ambassador for Extra Rich Extension, so I get, you know, hair from them, and I I love to reuse my wigs because times like this, where I'm always wearing a slick back, I love wearing my real hair slick back, though, not even gonna lie. Last year and this year, I've been wearing my real hair more than I ever, ever have in my life. But when it's time like this, where it's random shit come up, when I'm like, I need to, I need to get a wig. You know, I can go out my closet and grab me a wig. So I don't know if I will sell my wigs. When was the last time you properly got to know someone? What do you mean by properly, proper, properly getting to know someone? Because honestly, like properly getting to know someone, I take that as like, you know, you taking each step to get to know that person, and you really hearing them out you basically you really getting to know them like in all ways possible and i can honestly say you know i'm i, I jump into stuff but not in a, not not in a bad way like you know people people meet me they just they grasp onto me they it's like i it's like i it's like i'm gravity or something i just pull them in and they're stuck like chuck <laughs> but yeah honestly I would say, you know, the person that I talk to now, it's been kind of a, our, our relationship is kind of crazy. Like how we met years ago and how we're back talking now. It's just like, it's crazy, but it works, you know? So I feel like we probably got to know each other. Um, and honestly, you know, not everybody, everybody just, sometimes people just click, like, People just click like you don't have to you don't have like you don't have to sometimes taking it slow you you don't even get to that point because stuff just happens so fast y'all just grab so fast which is a good and a bad thing too because 
you know, sometimes you do need to take the time to get to know somebody slowly instead of just jumping into stuff fast, but sometimes you can't help it. So that's kind of a hard question to answer. But that was the last question and we're gonna wrap this video up. If you guys have any more questions if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that, that bell notification so you can be notified the first when I drop a video, okay? And there y'all go. Like, I hope I answered all y'all questions. I hope y'all got what y'all wanted. I hope y'all got what y'all was looking for. And I will see you guys on the next video.